ask my colleague Scott Forstall uh, to come up. Hello, this is Mark. I work at one of the Apple retail store. I was asked from a few friends that I met on YouTube that they read an article about Steve Jobs distortions on CNN and they found that um, they didn't realize the articles that I then I, I tried to check and uh, well I, I, I didn't like it either so I got some things that uh, I want to talk to for my boss, which is Steve Jobs. Firstly, <clears throat> concerning the misunderstandings or misinterpret or mistranslations about what Samsung president said between the words seem to smooth or small or so whatsoever. We know what he said. We know what he said. It's not about the word small or smooth. It's about dignity. It's about dignity. It's about self-esteem. Because my boss, Steve Jobs, he said that those copycats, and the truth is, there are copycats. Because we always be one step ahead. We always be one step ahead, and they're one step behind. Okay, it's not about what they said, but those shameless copycats trying to mimic at every step that we always be one step, we have to run from them. But we run all the time and we have great people, we have great products, we have great service, and then we never catch up. And that's the truth. And that's the thing. And that stupid articles, they said, well, if they put Kindles into PC tablets category, but Kindle is not PC tablets category, for Christ's sake. And one person right over there gave a very great comment, and I agree, he said, well, in which universe, Kindle is not a PC tablet. Nuke also. Those were not PC tablet. Okay. So that's the thing. And what about the Zooms, Motorola Zooms with one gigabyte of RAM? You know what? I've been working for electronics or computer stores for almost like 15 years. I work like a frontline salesperson. So I, I talk to people face to face Okay, like for instance, I Apple launched the new iMac. So we knew that it's been a while that the iMac allows us to increase the RAMs up to 16. But you know what? I have never seen a customers that really increase the RAMs up to 16 gigabytes. Who gives a shit? You, tablet, copycat, chamlets, and then you got 1 gigs of RAM or 2 gigs of RAM or 4 gigs, 5 or 10 gigs of RAM. That's fine. But you have no contents to play with. Nobody supports or contributes or distributes any contents or application to your system. So even though you have 100 gigabytes of RAM, that figure is useless. Okay. More RAMs consume more energies, cost to drive, to work harder. So that's the thing. And they claim the missing resources about the iPad 2 doesn't have a good camera. We all know that if you need a good camera for 12 million pixels from BenQ or like Samsung, you can spend even less than a hundred bucks to get that. You don't have to buy an iPad. Because an iPad is very big and huge. We put a high, you know, very high resolution cameras in there. It's gonna be look, it's gonna look really awkward to hold like this. Or we put the phones in, they're gonna be like this. This is ridiculous. That wise Apple didn't decide to make a PC 
okay? A personal computer with touch screen. Because it's not going to be very effective. Nobody really touches on the screen to make um, AutoCAD or Photoshops. You feel tired in a very short time. Steve Jobs, is, he didn't lie, okay? He gave you the truth. He was sick. But we caught his spirit. He came to the event. He gave the speech. You know what? No matter Zoom or Samsung Galaxies or Crackblades or whatsoever, without Steve Jobs, this UI would have never been done. If we don't have Steve Jobs to invent new things to the world, if he did not pave the ways to those copycats, we got nothing. <laughs>